Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Reckoners. Welcome to Total War Three Kingdoms. And I just thought I'd share something that I got up to on the stream today in a more concise format. What has happened is last night I had an idea about Con Rong. I have an offline campaign with him. And I was frustrated the fact that you get fenced in immediately by a really aggressive uh, Lu Bei. I mean, he just takes everything. So I basically, <laughs> you can see, I went from the start point here, I did. I defeated the rebel army, and I just got into the sea, and went all the way down here, to an area of the map which is incredibly underdeveloped, which is basically the entire south and west side of the Chinese map. So I've landed here right now, I mean there's a fishing village there, I don't quite have the money to settle this uh, Yizhu, Yizhu Island, but I could have done. It's just an idea that you could probably play this like a Viking. You could have like an, a like a, a, a base here and then you can start raiding all the Han territories. Uh, there are some more over here. There's a lot around here that you could basically have a naval empire, which might help because we are a mercantile focused faction, really. His unique thing is mercantile. Um, so that was the uh, that's the idea. Now, what I did on the stream was we went all the way around here found that there is actually a general here. Most of this place is completely undeveloped. Most of it is completely undeveloped. And it is a source, a huge, or the only source on the map, I think, for the spice trade. So if you can't get, the silk trade is over in the top left. The spike, uh, sorry, the spice trade is in the bottom left. So the idea was, let's go and see what we could do. And it was in completely viable to do this. this the, that was the thing that we made it, Surprising, it actually worked. We could settle anywhere along here from, well, we, on the second turn we were in the water. So we just left it. Uh, the yellow turbans came in and, and took it, or they're about to on this one. Yeah, they have done. And yeah, we could set up here. We can settle here. We have 4,000, so we can settle any non-city. Uh, so like this is 4,000 to sell. And look at that, even though we, we've not got any lands, but we are still making money. We are still profitable with this moderate sized army I developed just before we left. Um, on the second turn, I hired some people. I think it was the third turn we were in the water and we're here now on turn 17. We could probably do it faster if we we're going to go this way, but you could very viably settle anywhere along here, along here, along here, or if you don't mind a trek, or you could probably go up the river. That's probably the best thing to do. You can end up here. Um, which I will show you now. So here we are in the game I was just doing on the stream, and you may notice we are all the way over here. Kong Rong has a empire on the western side of China. Most of these places when we took over were completely abandoned. In fact, all of them were. They were all abandoned. Uh, we managed to make a fortune by not having a standing army. We're making 3,551 gold per turn. Uh, we're currently on turn 93, but, uh, you know, it is a, an interesting way of playing the game. I, I know I can do this a lot more efficiently and probably get here within, like, probably 15 turns. So, just to reiterate, on turn 2 or 3, I got into the water went down the coast. It was completely viable for me to start raiding places if I wanted to. I raided this fishing village. I could have settled there. I did settle here just for a laugh. I fancied a bit of fish. Um, I could basically hold this island if I wanted to and use it as a staging point for raids or maybe even somehow keep hold of this bit at the top, our starting province, and just send somebody in an expedition to come over here. We own a lot of the spice trade. Most of these places here, spice market, there's another spice market, trade ports. Um, the guys are going to get another spice market. as uh, iron and a rice paddy, which I didn't even realize was a, a, even a chance to exist. I didn't know that was a, a town. There's another salt mine. I think there's more, I think up here there's more spice. Either way, it's just a fun idea. Just take your empire. If you're worried about getting strangled by Lu Bei, Take Kong Rong down the coast and pick where you want to go. I thought I'd just share it with you. It sounds like a lot of fun, and it has been a lot of fun. But uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Any questions or comments, leave them. I'll be happy to read them. I'll uh, see you next time.